Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. 1 Kings chapter 11, this is the Amplified Version. Solomon turns from God. Now King Solomon defiantly loved many foreign women, along with the daughter of Pharaoh, Moabite, Abonite, Edomite, Sidonian, and Hittite women, from the very nations of whom the Lord said to the Israelites, you shall not associate with them, nor shall they associate with you. For the result will be that they will turn away your hearts to follow their gods. Yet Solomon clung to these in love. He had 700 wives, princesses, and 300 concubines, and his wives turned his heart away from God. For when Solomon was old, his wives turned his heart away after other gods, and his heart was not completely devoted to the Lord his God, as was the heart of his father David. For Solomon went after Ashtaroth, the fertility goddess of the Sidonians, and after Milcom, the horror, detestable idol of the Ammonites. Solomon did evil things in the sight of the Lord, and did not follow the Lord fully, as his father David had done. Then Solomon built a high place for worshiping Chemosh, the horror, detestable idol of Moab, on the hill which is east of Jerusalem, and for Molech, the horror, detestable idol of the sons of Ammon. And he did the same for all of his foreign wives, who burned incense and sacrificed to their gods. So the Lord became angry with Solomon, because his heart was turned away from the Lord, the God of Israel, who had appeared to him twice, and had commanded him concerning this thing, that he should not follow other gods. But he did not observe, remember, obey what the Lord had commanded. Therefore, the Lord said to Solomon, Because you have done this and have not kept my covenant and my statutes, which I have commanded you, I will certainly tear the kingdom away from you and give it to your servant. However, I will not do it in your lifetime for the sake of your father David but I will tear it out of the hand of your son, Rehoboam. However, I will not tear away all the kingdom. I will give one tribe, Judah, to your son for the sake of my servant David and for the sake of Jerusalem, which I have chosen. God raises adversaries. Then the Lord stirred up an adversary against Solomon, Hadad the Edomite. He was of royal descent in Edom. For it came about when David was in Edom, and Joab, the commander of the army, had gone up to bury those killed in battle, and had struck down every male in Edom. For Joab and all the army of Israel stayed there six months, until he had killed every male in Edom. That Hadad escaped to Egypt, he and some Edomites, from his father's servants with him, while Hadad was still a little boy. They set out from Midian, south of Edom, and came to Paran, and took men with them from Paran, and came to Egypt, to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, who gave young Hadad a house, and ordered food and provisions for him, and gave him land. Hadad found great favor with Pharaoh, so that he gave Hadad in marriage, the sister of his own wife, the sister of Tapines, the queen. The sister of Tapines gave birth to Genobah, Hadad's son, whom Tapines weaned in Pharaoh's house, and Junobath was in Pharaoh's household among the sons of Pharaoh. But when Hadad heard in Egypt that David had died, and that Joab, the commander of the army, was dead, Hadad said to Pharaoh, Let me leave, so that I may go to my own country. Then Pharaoh said to him, But what have you lacked with me? Then now you ask to go to your own country. He replied, Nothing. Nevertheless, you must let me go. God also stirred up another adversary for Solomon, Rezin, the son of Eliada, who had fled from his master, Hadadezer, king of Zobah. Rezin gathered men to himself and became leader of a marauding band after David killed those in Zobah. They went to Damascus and stayed there, and they reigned in Damascus. So Rezin was an adversary to Israel all the days of Solomon, along with the evil that Hadad afflicted, inflicted. 
Rezan hated Israel and reigned over Aram, Syria. Jeroboam, Solomon's servant, the son of Nebat, an Ephrathite of Zeradah, whose mother's name was Zeruah, a widow, also rebelled against the king. Now this is the reason why he rebelled against the king. Solomon built the Milo fortification, and he repaired and closed the breach of the city of his father David. The man, Jeroboam, was a brave warrior, and when Solomon saw that the young man was industrious, he put him in charge of all the forced labor of the house of Joseph. It came about at that time when Jeroboam left his Jerusalem that the prophet Ahijah the Shilonite met him on the road. Now Ahijah had covered himself with a new cloak, and the two of them were alone in the field. Then Ahijah took hold of the new cloak which he was wearing and tore it into twelve pieces. He said to Jeroboam, Take ten pieces for yourself. For thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Behold, I am going to tear the kingdom from the hand of Solomon and give you ten tribes. But he and his descendants shall have one tribe. Benjamin was annexed to Judah. For the sake of my servant David and for the sake of Jerusalem, the city which I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel, because they have abandoned me and have worshipped Ashtoreth, the goddess of the Sidonians, Chemosh, the god of the Moabites, and Milcom, the god of the sons of Ammon. And they have not walked in my ways and followed my commandments, doing what is right in my sight and keeping my statutes and my ordinances, as did his father David. However, I will not take the entire kingdom out of his hand, but I will make him ruler all the days of his life for the sake of my servant David whom I chose because he kept my commandments and my statutes. But I will take the kingdom out of his son's hand and give it to you. Ten tribes, yet to a son I will give one tribe, so that my servant David may have a lamp always before me. In Jerusalem, the city where I have chosen to put my name and presence, I will take you, Jeroboam, and you shall reign over whatever your soul desires and you shall be king over Israel, the ten northern tribes. Then it shall be that if you listen to all that I command you and walk in my ways and do what is right in my sight, keeping and observing my statutes and my commandments as my servant David did, then I will be with you and build you an enduring house as I built for David. And I will give Israel to you. And in this way, I will afflict the descendants of David, for this, their sin, but not for forever. So Solomon attempted to kill Jeroboam, but Jeroboam set out and escaped to Egypt, to Shishak, king of Egypt, and stayed in Egypt until Solomon died. The death of Solomon, the rest of the acts of Solomon, and all that he did, and his wisdom, are they not written in the book of the Acts of Solomon? The time Solomon reigned in Jerusalem over all Israel was 40 years, and Solomon slept in death with his fathers and was buried in the city of his father, David. Rehoboam, his son, reigned in his place. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.